I've had an adventurous spirit in me lately and summer feels like it's been passing much too quickly this year. I want to take advantage of the little time we have left. So last week I packed up all my things and bought two tickets for me and my sister to Alaska. I half expected us to walk out here and it was like snowing. <laughs> Seriously. We're trying to find a ride into town. We got a lot of stuff. Our bags are really heavy. Okay, so we just went to the store. We got some bear spray. Um, I've never used bear spray before. Uh, so maybe we should learn how to use it. In case a bear is charging us, then we'll already know. That's not a bad idea. Because like in the moment, we I gotta think shut I... our eyes though. <laughs> oh look, moose signs. Oh, you have to shut your eyes. I don't know. It could go. No, I don't think you have wind. to. I don't think you have to shut your eyes. Well, your eyes. We're gonna watch a video on this. We got some um, matches. Very essential. We got some batteries, and we got these uh, like mel proof bags. We have a bear bag but we got these as well. Um, I don't know. Anyways, we don't really have much of a plan, but we're going to a lake. We just rented some kayaks and then the lady told us to come down the road a bit. So we came down the road and found the kayaks <laughs> in this little forest. And they're attached to the tree? Oh wait, no, this is a canoe, not a kayak. When the lady pulled these out, I got so scared. I was like, what is this? Yeah, I know. We went to this lake that someone we met told us was pretty and found this little stand to rent canoes. The lady at the stand told us there's a 12 lake canoe route with a tiny forest service cabin to stay at halfway. So we packed up the canoe and set off. I felt like an adventure with just a map and a compass carrying the canoe through all these crazy trails as well as so many waterways, rivers, and channels. It was just such an adventure, honestly. Here. Oh, cool. Man, I need some water too. <laughs> so funny. Wait, is your leg? <laughs> Dude, I'm totally suffering. Help me! <laughs> your hip deep? Yes! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Here, grab my hand. Grab my hand. Stop! <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> We found it! That was so scary. Yeah, it was. We got lost for like, I would say an hour or something. Okay, so we rented a cabin somewhere around here through the National Forest and it says we're here. We have to go like to this lake here. So we have to go kind of around here, I think. Then we have to walk the canoe. Get a mosquito on you. Don't worry, I got it. So many bugs, oh my gosh. I can't believe we made it up that hill. We're almost there though. I think the cabin is somewhere, somewhere here. They didn't give me a location, so. Do you see it anywhere? No. <laughs> Did you look in the map? I literally don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's just like farther up That's at exactly that point. I don't know. Probably. How excited are you? Um, I'd say probably 10 out of 10 excited. <laughs> I can't believe we found it. We That's spent like, what, four and a half hours, maybe plus? I think it was five. Finding this cabin? <laughs> oh my God. I can't wait to get up here and eat something. Oh my gosh. Okay, should we walk inside? Oh my gosh. 
I can't believe this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cute little place. Oh my gosh. Wow. Log cabin. I guess unless we like bury it. Today was seriously one of the hardest things I've ever done. Yeah. Carrying that canoe over those hills. There was so many hills. I kind of want to stay up tonight and see the sky light yeah. all day long. That would be so cool. Well, it's already 8 o'clock and pff, so, this looks so like so it's high. about 4 o'clock, so... <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful here. Wow. Ever since I was little, I always dreamed of coming to Alaska. <laughs> We're so close, it was only like a two hour flight. <laughs> Me and my sister decided to buy a ticket to Alaska the day before we left. Spontaneous trips are the best because you have no expectations. I had no idea what this was going to be like. It's funny, when we saw these little canoe rentals, and we were talking to the lady, she was like, oh yeah, just it's just a lake, you paddle by, and then there's like this little cabin you can stay at, and <laughs> she made it sound so easy, it was so hard. It was like six or seven lakes we paddled through, and between those lakes we had to carry the canoe, and it was just a mess. <laughs> It sounded like they were just rustling in the bushes. Well, it could have just been like a bird. Yeah, it seemed bigger than that, though. I don't know. Weird. How is it? Mm -hmm. Plain. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'm so cold. We just got back from our canoe adventure. That was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. I mean, we got lost. It was a mess. You know, we didn't encounter any bears, though. Oh, that's good. We really have no idea what we're doing right now. Yeah. Um, don't know where we're sleeping tonight. Just so tired. I just could collapse on the sidewalk. Wow, oh my gosh. Look at this sunset tonight. What the heck? These mountains are pink. <laughs> have you ever seen a sunset like this? Not in I don't know if I like have. This. Wow, Alaska. <sighs> this is seriously so amazing. Okay, so we're both really tired. I think we're going to sleep in the car tonight. <laughs> I just have the biggest headache of my life. Mm. How are you feeling? Got some applesauce here, so I'm feeling okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay.
Okay, so we are backpacking 16 miles uh, up to a glacier. Um, to be honest, I never really thought in my life I would be brave enough to backpack through Alaska. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Luckily, my sister's with me. Um, here we are, we've got bear spray, so that's the first thing. There's a lot of warnings for bears around here, and um, supposedly there is like a teeny little hut at the top. It's supposed to start raining today. So I guess we're officially alone in the Alaskan wilderness. Snow on the ground Makes me think of you How you feeling? I'm good. The farther we walked on this trail, the smaller and less apparent the trail became until we basically were just kind of guessing where it was using a compass and a map. We spent many hours bushwhacking and walking through very deep mud because we couldn't really find the trail at all. And then around six o'clock, the rains came. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you see the rain? If you say Oh yeah, that is rain. God, we walked so far. I know. We need to really get moving. The rain is on its way here. Okay, well it's officially starting to really rain here, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, help me in the back. What is happening here? I don't know if there is. Press the pump water. I didn't see one. There was something on the map that I saw. I seriously can't believe we made it. I like came. I was like it. thinking, I was like, we got so lost up there on those mountains and the fog came in. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see you and I got really scared. I know, I got scared too because I lost you for a while and oh my god, I seriously, I, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I was just gonna have to slide down the mountain and hit my head on the rocks. I think that was the most scared I've ever been up in the mountains. By far. We were like basically rock climbing without right. a harness. Without a harness. When we lost the trail and it was just pouring down rain, fog everywhere, like, oh. That was really scary, but. Uh, I'm grateful we found this little cabin hut. We're dry. My legs hurt so bad. Wow, this coffee is really <laughs> doing something to me. It was a really cold night last night, um, and it rained all night long. It's still raining, and there is just so much fog. 
Um, I'm kind of worried about hiking down today because the last like mile of the hike it was kind of just like this straight up and scrambling on these big slippery boulders and I'm just worried about doing that in the rain. It was just really scary yesterday with all the fog. The trail was hard to find and we got a little bit lost so I don't know what to do honestly. Um, at least I have some coffee. It's crazy in this book, there's like people that have been coming here since the early 90s writing little journal entries. A lot of people come in the middle of winter, which is insane to me because we had trouble yesterday. September, that's pretty cool. Friday the 13th, that's a great day to come up. Oh, I saw some entries from January. We're officially leaving <laughs> in a rainstorm. We're going down there. <laughs> Down the mountain! <laughs> Into the gray fog. Mm. So, I guess we're leaving. Yeah. See how this goes? 